Hello everybody, this is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. I hope you are having a wonderful day today. So today I have an order for a basket arrangement. This is going to a funeral service. It will be taken um, from the visitation to the cemetery. And so this is what we call a cemetery type basket. It's just a plastic basket. It actually comes in three pieces. It has the base, which is this just this little round circle. It has a handle and then it has the actual pot that the flowers are in. I have taken a piece of Oasis or floral, fresh floral foam. I have soaked it in water and so it has absorbed water. I placed it in, I actually used um, a piece and a half. Um, I took part, part of the piece and placed it in the bottom, part of the extra piece, placed it in the bottom to lift up the whole piece of Oasis. And then what I had left over, I just kind of tucked in, I wedged my Oasis into place. They're going to um, be moving this flower arrangement a good bit. So I wanted to make sure it was gonna stay in place. I also filled the reservoir with fresh water and I taped my Oasis in, or my fresh floral foam into place. Um, I'm going to take, this is what we call jade. It is a type of palm leaf that we use for funeral work. And I am going to green out this arrangement. I'm gonna use my floral knife and I am going to start out with placing my greenery just kind of in the back of this foam. And you're just going to do it like a fan. So, um, I'm gonna take these bracelets off because they're just gonna jingle, jingle, jingle. So I'm gonna slide those off real quick so I don't worry you to death with those bracelets. So I am just kind of doing this in a fanned shape. It's a little harder to do it backwards, but that's okay, we'll figure it out. I may have to turn it and look at it. But So what I'm going to do is I am just going to fill this container with this greenery, okay? Now, some people, some designers, would prefer to add their flowers and then add the greenery. Um, that's all in preference. There's nothing wrong with that. Me, personally, I would prefer to add my greenery and then add my flowers, and it's just strictly because when you add your flowers first, then you have to go in between all the flowers to tuck in the greenery. So I just find it's easier if I add my greenery first. Now I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna add some greenery to the back. It is very important in a floral design that you finish off the back side, okay? And the reason is, is not everybody's gonna see the back side, but you don't want it to be unfinished. So with this back side, it's just going to be flat. I'm not gonna have any flowers on the back side, so I'm just going to add this greenery just flat on the back side. In any arrangement, always finish it. Always make it pretty before you pre present it. Always be sure that you finish it off. Now, it might be different if it's going to be at your house and nobody's gonna be see the back side. But anytime you are doing an arrangement for someone else, always be sure that you have finished it completely, okay? Okay, so there's the back side. So you really can't see all my mechanics. Now, I'm going to turn this and I'm gonna give us just a little bit of depth. It looks pretty flat here. I'm just taking this jade and I'm cutting it in half. Instead of stripping the bottom leaves off, I'm just using the bottom leaves to help fill in this arrangement. One of our followers said, Monty, quit throwing all that greenery away. You're throwing too much away. And that was true. I was, I was bad to just strip the bottom part. See, this is still, greenery and it will still work to make this arrangement to fill in that arrangement okay so there's my um finished greenery i also um have a pretty bouquet of greenery we get from our um 
our our per guess what is she <laughs> I order all of my flowers most of my flowers the majority of my flowers I'll order direct from a grower instead of going through the wholesaler. I use Budsy and it is a wonderful company. If anybody is interested or needs a contact, um, please message me. I am so happy to share my contact with you. They do a fantastic job with fresh flowers and fresh foliage. This is one of their, what they call a drop-in bouquet. Beautiful mixed bouquet of greenery. So, I've got my jade and then I was going to add one of these bouquets of greenery. I'm going to wait and add this greenery last after I've added my flowers just to enhance my flower arrangement. But these are wonderful guys. So if anybody needs pretty greenery, Budsy has fantastic greenery and fantastic flowers. So I'm going to start out with my lime flower. For lime flower today, I have green gladiolus and blue delphinium. Um, so glads are such a big showy flower um, and just a really pretty, a really pretty flower. Now, I'm gonna, um, one of the things I always do with glads is I pop the tip out of the top of a glad flower, a gladiolus flower. The reason I pop that tip out of that flower is because it will signal to this flower to start opening the buds all the way down. Now why it does that, I'm not exactly sure. I don't really know the scientific method behind that or the reasoning behind that, but I always take and just pop that tip right out of the top of that gland and it helps to force those blooms all the way down to open up. So I like to use my large lime flower towards the back and I'm just really kind of doing just a fanned look. Just like I told you with the greenery that I would just do a fanned look, okay? Next I'm gonna come in with my pretty blue delphinium. I love this color of delphinium and I love this variety. I'm not exactly sure the exact type of variety this is, but I like that it's so full and pretty. It's just a really showy, um, delphinium. So I'm just taking and I am just tucking that blue delphinium right into that oasis. Blue flowers are just such pretty flowers, I think. Very pretty flowers. Okay, next I'm gonna come in with some yellow daisies. I have some really pretty yellow daisies. Daisies come, daisies are in the mum family, the chrysanthemum family. They come in lots of colors and lots of varieties. Daisies are long lasting flowers and this just happens to be a standard daisy mum. And you can see this pretty pale yellow is so pretty. They're just happy flowers, aren't they? And they're not expensive flowers. They're fairly inexpensive and they last a long time, which is even better. So I'm just tucking those daisies. The wonderful part is you see how long the stem is. You can use them as just a little individual flower. And it's really almost a great filler flower too. It just kind of fills in. Turn it. I'm gonna add a couple stems here on these edges just because I've got my edges kind of looking. It's hard to do it backwards, so <laughs> I have to turn it and look. I think I'm gonna tuck a couple of these. Next, I 
am going to, I've got Safari Sunset. Now this Safari Sunset is so pretty. I love this kind of reddish maroon color. Um, Safari Sunset is in the Protea family and it's really foliage. It's really all foliage. It is just so pretty. Fun to work with, long lasting, perfect for, um, for this pretty color. We use it a lot in the fall. Um, and we use it a lot here at Mississippi State because maroon is our color, our college color. And so it works really great for our school, but it's just a pretty long lasting foliage. It paints really well. And so if you ever want to pop it with a little bit of maroon, I mean, any kind of color, you can pop it with color. And so it really is a, it's a, fun little flower and it's kind of in the tropical family so it it's it's just a good hardy long-lasting long-lasting flower okay so there's our safari our, our safari sunset if I can get my mouth to work next I'm going to come in with some sunflowers some bright sunny sunflowers um, these are medium, what we would call a medium sized sunflower. Sunflowers come in different sizes. Um, and this is a medium, this is my favorite size. I prefer a medium over, over the other sizes. There's a small, a medium, and a large. Um, when I say small, it's the size of a quarter. <laughs> and when I say large, it has, it can be the size of my face. So, both are not so easy to work with. I guess the small is much easier than the large to work with, but but I just prefer a medium. A medium is is just a it stands out well. I'm having issues getting that stuff into that foam. The medium is just right, in my opinion. And the large are fun for a certain for certain things, but. I just find that they're not the easiest to arrange with. All right, so I've got three sunflowers tucked in there, and then we have some of these beautiful heart roses. Now I'm gonna take, I have any issues with my drawer over here. I'm gonna take a florist wire, and I'm gonna wire my roses. Now, not all florist wire roses, um, I don't know, I mean, honestly, I don't work with a whole lot of other floors, so I don't really know how many actually do. For me, I just, it's a guarantee that this rose is going to stay fresh as long as it needs to. And it's not gonna dip its head. And so I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna run it right into the base of that rose. And then I'm just twisting that wire right around the stem. It's just going to help keep those little heads standing up straight and staying pretty in this arrangement. Now these heart roses have lots of thorns. They bite, so you have to be careful. I'm just taking my little paring knife. I'm running it down the stem of that flower and just pulling off those little thorns, just so it doesn't bite. I will say this variety has lots of thorns. I prefer <laughs> the varieties with less thorns, but this is the prettiest rose the prettiest red rose and it comes in this really deep red um, that works great for our college and it's a big head it's just a beautiful rose so it's worth the thorns <laughs> all right got one more after this one Sorry, I did not wire them before I went, I went on my video. It has been a busy day here at Flowers by the Bunch. We have just been working, working today. Lots of great customers coming to visit. A couple of our vendors came by, so it's been a busy day. Which is wonderful. We like to be busy, don't we? All right, so I'm gonna take these red roses and I am just going to tuck them right in.
All right, so last, the last thing I'm going to add to this arrangement is a little bit of, besides of my pretty greenery, I'm gonna let, add a little bit of Solid Ego filler flower. Um, Solid Ego is my favorite filler just because it goes well with everything. It's hardy and it's inexpensive. And I am about, all about hardy things that last and things that don't cost a whole lot of money because the less expensive it is, the more I can put into an arrangement, right? And so, Solid Ego is yellow and it's pretty. It paints well, so if you ever had um, floral paint, you can always make it in a fall tone, so it's pretty in the fall. You can do a whole lot with it. You can do a whole lot with it. Now, some people don't like it, and that's completely understandable. You know that everything's not for everybody, right? I'm gonna put one more in the top. Got my one glad leaning, so I'm gonna take it and push it in really well. You always want to be careful and make sure your flowers are put are pressed into that foam well, so that when it travels, it's not gonna fall apart. Okay, so there is our. Um, finished product, I'm going to add a little bit of this mixed bouquet of greenery. So this, this type of greenery is called um, Pittosporum. Pitt grows in a shrub and it is a wonderful greenery. I need to plant a couple of Pittosporum shrubs. Um, it, it holds up really well. It smells good. It smells fresh and good. It's a really good foliage. It comes in a solid and a variegated style, a variegated um, variety. Um, the solid is kind of a dark green and the variegated is, it, it has white variegation on it. This is called lily grass. I love lily grass. Um, it is blades of grass, but they don't cut. Like um, bear grass cuts. Like if you run your hand down bear grass, it kind of cuts. What I'm doing here is I just took, I gathered that that grass together. I took a wire um, pick and I just wired that grass onto the pick. I'm just gonna tuck that in there to give us a little bit of whimsy in that arrangement. And then this greenery is called sword fern. And sword fern is, it's just a pretty blade of fern. Um, I like it, it holds up well and it just gives us a little bit of variety in an arrangement. There is our pretty funeral basket. Um, this will be delivered this evening to a funeral service. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon um, as I make this pretty flower arrangement. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would, please subscribe to our channel. And there is a little notification bell down below that if you tap on that, you'll see when we come, um, when we post a new video. Guys, y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all real soon. Thanks so much.